Hi everyone, welcome back to Reality of Life and Relaxation, where we explore the reality of life and share tips on relaxation and of course productivity of our real virtual assistant. So in today's video, I'm going to show you as a virtual executive assistant how to manage a client's Gmail inbox through email delegation. This can help you assist your clients more efficiently. So let's dive in. First, before we start, let's talk about the email management. Effective inbox management involves organizing emails, responding to important messages, and filtering out spam. The task you will handle will depend on your client's specific needs and preferences. If your client doesn't want to share their username and password, Gmail allows them to delegate access to their account securely. And here's how your client can delegate access to you. First, of course, ask your client to open their Gmail and click on the gear icon on the top right corner. Then from the drop down menu, they should select See All Settings. Next, they need to go to the Accounts and Import tab. This is where they can manage access to their account. So click that. Then they should scroll down to the section labeled Grant access to your account and click on add another account then as you can see a new window will pop up they need to enter your email address for example here i want to get give access to rents so here is the email of rents so rents5476 at gmail.com then click next step Your client will confirm by clicking send email to grant access. And then when you check your email, you will then receive an email asking you to confirm the access. So let's see here, Rents already received it. So if you receive that, you can see the actual email confirmation. There you go. So you once you receive the email, open it and click on the verification link to confirm access. Here to accept this request, please click the link below. You have to click this link. and then confirm. After you confirm access, you will be able to manage your client's inbox without needing their password. As you can see here, it may take up to 30 minutes for the verification to complete. Then after that, you can view and send messages on behalf of your client. Now, let's look at how you can access and manage your client's Gmail inbox once you confirmed that email that you now have your client's Gmail inbox access. So, to switch between accounts, click on your profile picture in the top right corner and select your client's email account from the drop down menu. So in this case, since Rosa gave rents a Gmail access to, or to de delegated rents to have access to Rosa's email, you can now switch the account of Rosa directly from his email. Just like this. Once you have access, you can perform various tasks such as organizing emails, responding to messages, 
filtering their spam and setting up automatic replies based on your client's instructions. That's it. By following these steps, you can effectively manage your client's Gmail inbox, helping them stay organized and reducing their stress. I hope you found this tutorial helpful as a virtual executive or admin assistant. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more tips and productivity and relaxation. Also, leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Reality of Life and Relaxation. Mm -hmm.